And and I'm going to tell you, it, I, was, I, I felt like the Lord had given me this message early in the week, and I didn't know why. But as the week went on, I found out. I just had thoughts on it. And uh, and I, I, the Lord just flooded my mind. And then this morning I got up and I was still writing. And, uh, but you know, Satan, sure. he comes in and he says, you know, that's not. You, know, you, you probably might need a double second guess at it. And so I said, Lord, I, I just told the Lord, I said, Lord, all that I've prepared, if you got something different for me, you let me know. And I will do your will. That's Amen. what it's all about. Amen. And I, I'm going to tell you that from the time that our service started this morning, the Lord has confirmed it to me. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I just thank God for that. Amen. Right. So if you would, we're going to turn and we're going to read in Ephesians chapter 6. And I'm going to tell you, you know, it's uh, the Spirit of God is marvelous. It, 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 is, it is a mystery. You know, it really is a mystery. Even to us that are saved, it is a marvel and a mystery at how He works things together. He weaves things together Amen. to edify Him and to bring glory to Him and to uplift us. That's right. it, it is absolutely amazing. We, it, His ways are so much higher than our ways. Amen. I'm going to start reading in, in uh, Ephesians 6 and start reading in, in verse 10. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Amen. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Amen. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Our precious Heavenly Father, yes. we thank you, Lord, for the service thus far. Yes. Lord, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for adding the blessings of the Spirit to the service this morning, Lord. We ask, Father, that you would take these words and bless them, Lord. Yeah. That they would find lodgment in hearts, Lord, and that we would grow and lean upon you more from Amen. these words, this message. Yes, Lord. Now, Father, take this service and use it the way you see fit. In the Amen. name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 You know, we just, as so many people have already said it this morning, we have had a great revival. Amen. And we were richly blessed by the Spirit of God in, in every service. I don't think there was a lack of any service. Amen. Uh, the Spirit of God was was marvelous. Yes. Amen. As I just said. And and that being said, you know, it, it should not be. It should not be a surprise to us that Satan is going to attack us. That's right. And you know, he he has already started trying to recover ground that he lost. That's that right. right. We had a revival for seven days. It was eight services. And he lost more ground in those seven days than he's probably lost in years. Amen. That's right. And so he started right away trying to cause problems. That's right. But you know, we will not give in to his decision. Amen. Amen. We're not going to turn back because we're fighting to win. Amen. And if I had a title for the message this morning, it would be fighting to win. Amen. Amen. You know, we must be aware of all the tricks of Satan at all times. Uh, you know, he will try at his pleasure to discourage us from continuing to be Christians. Amen. Amen. And there's different ways that he attacks different ones of us. And, you know, because some of us, certain things don't bother. But this is some of the ways this morning, and one of them is physically. He attacks us physically. Right. Another one is mentally uh, false accusations. Mm -hmm. right. And another one is that all of us are tempted to try in this way, and that is spiritually. That's right. We you know uh, in the song service this morning, the shield of faith. Mm -hmm. Take the shield of faith. Right. Uh, and that's taken directly from the scriptures I'm reading. 
Amen. I love to serve my Jesus. What is he saying there? He says, when the foe comes up against me, right. you know, we're going to stand our ground. Amen. 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 And then Jesse said the song that she had, I'm going on. Yeah. And the Lord gave her that. And Amen. then the one that Jody picked out, we hadn't sung in I don't know how long, and I'll make the Lord a good soul. Amen. Amen. And how we do that? It's because we do not back down. We're yeah. in this fight to win. That's right. And we have to keep the ground that we just gained. That's right. Uh, you know, Satan, he strives to deprive us from blessings, heavenly blessings, and to obstruct our communion with heaven. That's uh, right. You know, he seeks to destroy the trust that we have in each other. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and he does that more often than we realize. That's, That's right. right. He seeks to destroy our salvation. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we need to be on our guard against his tactics Amen. at all times. Amen. Amen. You know, talking about the physically, being tried physically. Some of us are tried physically. Uh, you know, Job was tried physically. Sure. But I'm going to tell you what. Job did not let that overcome him. He overcame. Amen. You know, Job said, and, and uh, he said that, he said, he knoweth the way that I take. Amen. When he had tried me, I shall come forth as gold tried in the fire. Amen. Amen. My foot hath held his steps. His way have I kept and not declined. Amen. He didn't go back. No matter how sick he got and, and all that he lost, he did not stumble Amen. at the promises. Right. Neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. Amen. That is what we have to do. That's right. Amen. We have to use this here trial as a step in right, We must take in the Word of God to our bodies. Amen. You know, the, the revival services is excellent. But that was those week, that was last week. And we can look back on it and nourish from it, but we have to still pick this Bible up and read it. Amen. We have to get daily nutrition from this right, right here. Amen. You know, sickness. Whenever we have sickness like Job did, Job, he, he saw God's face. And he went straight to Him. And you know, we can do the same thing. Amen. Amen. James tells us, believe us, James, he says that if there's any sick, mm -hmm. let him call on the elders. Right. And, and they will pray. Let's, let's read that. That's James 5. 13. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any married? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, Amen. and the Lord shall raise him up. Brother James knew that we was going to be tried physically. Right. That's right. And you know that if Satan can get you feeling bad, sometimes he can work it in there. And you start feeling bad, and then you start reasoning, why am I feeling so bad? What have I done? Yep. Whenever it's not I, but it's Satan. Amen. And you know what James said? He realized this. The Lord showed Brother James, and he said, you need to write this down. Is any sick among you, let him call for the elders. And that, why is that? Because we can put an end to it. Amen. And we can get back up on higher ground. Amen. And that way we will not start... False accusing ourselves. That's right. That's right. You know that we false accuse ourselves from Satan. Amen. I was taking a shower the other night and I, I was meditating on this and I was uh, thinking about a trial that I went through and I, you know, we go through trials and sometimes after we're finished with it, we look back and we say, I could have handled that differently. And and Satan came to me and he said, you know, you know, maybe you got a bad spirit. And I said, Satan, I know better. Yeah, that's I said, right. You get away from me. And I started Amen. singing the song from the Charles thing. Out there, I just said, Help me, your Savior, yeah. as I travel on this way. You know, and he left me. But I, I thought about that. You know, he is cunning. Yes. Yes. He will do anything he can to get us down. Amen. Yeah. Right. You know, some will be tried mentally. Yes. Now, Satan will try to destroy confidence. Now, whenever I say mentally, that's what I mean. Destroying confidence that we have in our brothers and sisters. But you know, we can uh, we can be victorious. You know, Elijah. Uh, we just had a great revival. Elijah had a great revival. Amen. And I'm gonna tell you what. 
God come down and showed His mighty power and, and that fire. Yeah. Licked up that sacrifice, the stones of water. Right. But you know, a woman made a threat to Him. 